Good day and welcome to episode 28 of Safety Talk with myself, Pandelia Lefteriu and Gert Hendricks, our very own safety coach here at FTS Safety. How's it, Gert? How are you doing? Good. Thank you, Patrick. It's been an interesting video production day, hasn't it? It is. It is. <laughs> well, let's try and uh, forget some of the hardships and let's focus mm. on this episode here. Um, we've got a couple of customers, both in South Africa and in Mozambique, mm. who despite the, the, uh, the good decline in the... Um, in the cases of COVID, they've got an increasing rate of infections in their businesses, okay? Uh, and this is quite alarming. Um, I think a lot of companies don't know how to act in these situations. They don't know how they're meant to handle it. So I've got two questions mm. for you, Kat. Um, what is the definition of someone coming into contact with COVID in the workplace? Yeah, it's a, it's a good question is um, if somebody is positive in the working environment, when have I been exposed? When I, am I actually legally exposed and need to take action regarding it? Now, there's a, in the Gazette, there's clearly definitions given to us for several different industries, but there's three golden rules. Is that is when you are uh, and being exposed is you are closer than one to one to five meter to a person which has been identified as positive. Secondly, that you have not worn your safety, your uh, face mask at that given time and that you've been in his presence for longer than 15 minutes. So those are the three criteria for making sure that you identify if you've been exposed. So just because somebody in maintenance is positive, the admin officers has not been exposed. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. All right, thank you for that. Mm. Um, another question I have here. I've yeah. got companies, like I said earlier, they have got someone infected in their companies. What next? Yeah, it is all. It's a, it's a, it is a bit alarming the moment that you have a positive case in your working environment, and a lot of people doesn't know what to do. Uh, well, the, the act does give us guidance there that you need to sanitize and keep to the golden rules of your working environment. So you need to follow the golden rules by taking the temperature. Do the medical questionnaire, uh, make sure that people are wearing their face masks, make sure that the social distance is keeping. You can go one step further, close the branch for a day and use that opportunity to sanitize. Okay, so is that not actually legally required? You don't have to close. You don't anymore. have to close. You just have to maintain those standards. Yes have to maintain your standards and you need to prove who has been exposed to that uh, that uh, positive case so that the test can be uh, done on those people okay so just something that maybe we haven't touched on so i know every day i come and you've trained in sika he comes through yeah he takes my temperature he makes me fill in that form every day he's filing yeah. that away um is that something that all companies are meant to be doing yes that is law they have to do the medical so is that, question we covered it in the previous so if a department of labor comes up we didn't mention that is that one of the things they're looking for Definitely. when they're doing the inspections that you are do, taking those daily medical yes. forms and uh, temperatures and filing them away on a daily basis so that when somebody is positive you can say okay these are the people that we expect suspect of being exposed regarding those three criteria in his working environment. Okay, and are we still providing that form for free if anyone asks for it? Totally free of charge, we can, uh, can download it, yeah. Okay, and they can email safetycoach at ftsafety.co.za? That's correct. All right, fantastic. Okay, so look, if you have any questions, guys, please do us a favor, put them down in the comments whether you're watching on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. There is no such thing as a, as a silly question in safety. If you care about promoting safety in your business, at your in your home, at your church, or your work organize or any organization, um, take the time to to ask the questions, share this video if needed, smash up the like button. Let's uh, get this information out there. Thank you very much.